So if your car doesn't start guys and you have a code P0335 step this and we'll show you how to fix that now. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will cover a situation where your car does not start and you have a code, guys, P0335. Stay with us and we'll cover how to fix that. Now, we'll demonstrate on a 2.4 uh, multi-air engine. That engine is used in uh, multiple Dodge, Jeep and Chrysler products, guys. You can find that engine in Dodge Dart, Chrysler 200, guys, uh, Jeep Cherokee, Renegade, Compass, Fiat 500X and Fiat Toro as well. So, quite a few vehicles use that engine, guys. So uh, that code and that procedure will apply to all these vehicles. Quick introduction now guys, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 videos. We take them completely apart. Why we guys do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. How we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. If you need to buy any replacement parts to use scanners guys that we use, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. We share all that for your convenience. So. Now this is a 2015 Dodge Dart that we'll be working on and uh, this is the scanner guys that we'll be using okay to scan the system and we'll show you guys how this car does not start first okay let us show you that and how we are going to fix that problem now so how we'll find the OBD port which is located under the dash usually okay and I'll go ahead and connect it here perfect once it's connected guys okay it's going to light up this guys is a really really good scanner okay you can see live data and all that stuff that helps you diagnose many many problems on your car so uh, let me show you guys how the car doesn't start i'll be quiet now so you can guys hear it and see how the car does not start so let's demonstrate now so no starting at all guys uh, let us show you how we will diagnose the system and what we need to fix to uh, we need to replace to actually fix that now so what I'm doing next I'm just going to go ahead and insert the key guys we'll insert the key uh, turn ignition on without starting the engine right now this is guys the scanner here we're going to establish communication it's connecting to the engine computer now so we can guys actually read the codes and see what causes okay what causes these problems uh, car not wanting to start and we'll have a specific code it should be a code p0335 guys and we'll explain what need to be fixed uh, codes found one you can see eventually guys if you keep cranking the car may start but it may not run correctly at all guys it may run really poor uh, you may not have power you may have increased fuel consumption not idling correctly guys so we'll click read codes and the codes that we have now Okay, check it out. It's P0335 crankshaft position sensor circuit A, guys, and engine light. Okay, you can see engine light is on as well, guys. Engine light is on, and we have that code. So, now, how we are going to fix that? We're going to turn the car off. Okay, we'll open the hood, and I'll show you guys, okay, what we need to take care of. So, let's do that now. So, we guys have the hood open, this is uh, the 2.4 engine right here that we are talking about, multi-air engine guys, <coughs> as I said that engine has been used in multiple vehicles. Now, once you guys open the hood, okay, if you come all the way down here, okay, you're going to notice that you have one sensor. This sensor guys, right there, okay, this thing, this is your crankshaft position sensor, that code relates to that sensor guys. Check your connection, make sure the wire is not loose, go ahead and replace it. Now, we will have the replacement sensor, guys, the link in the description of the video below. In addition, guys, uh, if you want to see how to remove and replace it, it's only one board, but if you want to see it, we have the video on the channel. Check it out, everything from start to finish. We took that engine completely apart, so you can check it out on 2.4 multi-air uh, crankshaft position sensor replacement, and you will see the video, guys. Now, the purpose of today's video is to see if a new sensor will fix that, so we'll go ahead, replace it, and see if that takes care of the situation now. So the crankshaft position sensor has been replaced, we'll go inside, what we'll do next, uh, we'll just uh, clear the codes guys, okay, first thing we need to clear the codes, because, excuse me, if you guys have a new sensor installed and you don't hear, uh, clear your engine light and the codes, what could happen, your car may not run correctly guys, you always have to go back, okay, click erase codes, right there, Erasing codes now. Check it out. Erase done. So now if I start the car, it should start with no problem. I'll be quiet now, guys, so you can see 
what it sounds like. Okay, let's do that now. So two times guys, starts with no problem. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. It will lead you in the right direction to fix your car. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.